So every school he went to, I went to the same school. Nursery, primary. When we got to command, he became a head boy or house prefect or something. You know, everybody's chasing me everywhere. Why can't you be like your brother? Why can't you be like your brother? He punished me more than he punished all the other juniors because he's always expecting more from me than anyone else. Um, and then he got a break to be able to go to England. Uh, we were both super skinny. I would remember because we slept in the same place, bunk bed, up and down, um, with our wonderful sister sharing the room with us then. Pastor Dolio had gone to Joss or somewhere like that. That was before when kidnapping was a standard way of living in Nigeria. <laughs> but uh, he, <laughs> as he was leaving, I told him, if I don't come along with you, your plane won't make it to that country. They would divert it somewhere else. So he reported me to our father, and that allowed me to go with him <laughs> to England. When we saw the school fees for the two of us, then we started eating because we realized that when Daddy Joe sees the school fees, he will surely call us back home. So we therefore, if you notice some of the pictures, we got fat together very quickly as well. Um, and then when we realized that uh, <laughs> we were no longer coming back to Nigeria, it was too late. We had already eaten everything possible to eat. Then when we start, he started losing weight, I followed him as well. We got married on the same day. Um, went through the same schools as well obviously a few years apart uh, December 28 um, my wife was going to give birth exactly the same day as he had his own first daughter and me too I was having first daughter I had to kneel down and beg my wife let it just go past midnight by one minute so at least these children would be one day after the other it won't be the same December date um I've been chasing him. I'll keep chasing him. Fantastic legacy. Um, first school we got to in England. School has been created since 1886. He became the first African, the first Nigerian head boy of that school. And then he just continued and continued and continued. If, um, you know, ministry did not call us back to Nigeria, he would probably have been the first uh, black prime minister for England. <laughs> but truly, a fantastic life uh, to emulate. Um, Pastor D probably dresses better than anyone you would ever meet. It's so difficult to give him an honorarium when it comes to your church, because by the time you look at his dressing and you look at what you are holding in your hand, you would have to rethink it. <laughs> it will probably be the one having to give you an honorarium at the end of the ministration. We love him, we miss him, and if I have seeds in the house, we have our song. What does it say? I will never be. Come on. Ever, ever. I will never be. Why? Because I am too. I am. I am. I am. I am. I Amen. Amen. Let's go there again, please. If it counts for anything, 
or if it counts for nothing. Let this be a measure of comfort as we take the final tribute for this service in honor of Pastor Dari Ateboye, even as we welcome his beloved wife. Let us give a round of applause as we welcome his beloved wife, our wonderful Auntie Tammy Ateboye. Let the redeemed of the Lord shout a wonderful hallelujah. That hallelujah is standing on one leg. I want you to jump up and rise on your feet and shout hallelujah. Amen. Please be seated. Pastor Dari, my husband was a wonderful person. He was amazing in every sense of the way. I do not mourn him at all. I weep because he left me. He slept. He did not die. He did not die. And I know, I am sure, because on the resurrection morning, he will rise again and we will see him in glory. I'm sure because he was saved. I'm sure because he believed in Christ. His salvation was sure, it was certain. He said, if I die today, I know I am fulfilled. I have done what the Lord has asked me to do. He was not afraid of death. He was not afraid. It is not a matter of how short. It is not a matter of time, but how well. And he lived well. He lived a good life. He lived to the glory of God. He lived, he served God. His life was dedicated to Christ. And that is why I, I am sure that he is in heaven. I am sure that he made it. And I want to say, brethren, today, that if you are not sure of your salvation, if you are not sure that if you sleep tonight, you might not wake up tomorrow, you are not sure of where you will be in eternity, you have not given your life to Christ at all. If you are here today, you heard, and perhaps you just came to see. Yes, it's true. He is sleeping in the Lord. But are you sure of yourself? Are you sure of where you will be? Are you sure of eternity? You haven't given your life to Christ? Or perhaps you did. And, take, I, and took it back from him. I want you to raise your right hand this evening. If you are not sure of your salvation, you are not sure you are going to sleep in the Lord. You are not sure of where you are going to end up. You are afraid to die because you are not living a holy life. If you are afraid to die because you are not saved, because the devil is still in control of your life, I want you to raise your right hand up this evening. Wherever you are, just raise, raise your right hand up. Raise it up and let the Lord save you today. Don't be ashamed. Don't be shy. You are not going to die. You are not going to die. I want you to be saved just as my husband was saved. 
I want you to make it. I want you to be sure of yourself. I want you to live your life fully for Jesus. I want you to rededicate your life to him if you, if you, are, if you were once saved. I want you to tell him, Lord Jesus, I come before you today. Please save me. I want to surrender my life back to you. Help me, because I cannot do this on my own. That if you come before tomorrow morning, I will reign with you in your kingdom. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Thank you everyone that have come to honor God in his life. Thank you for coming. And I pray that the Almighty God will reward us all in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. May the Lord indeed comfort every one of us present here today and everyone watching online as well in the name of Jesus. For this service of songs, we will receive a short charge. Even though the tribute by the wife of the departed sounds like a charge already. We will receive a short charge that would be given by the regional youth evangelist of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Region 35, Pastor Matthew Adebayo. He will be preceded by a ministration from Pastor Nathaniel Bassi. Be blessed in the name of Jesus.